Jay Demerit. Hello, friend. How are you? Oh, you know, another day in gas town, my friend. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> so thank you so much for agreeing to, to spend some time. I know you're super busy and we, we just snuck between some travel and some travel. So I'm really grateful you're, you're able to come and join us at Creative Mornings uh, in a couple of weeks. So first question I have for you, some, a lot of people know you as an athlete, right? So they, he's that Whitecaps guy. There's a lot more to the Jay Demerit story than I think most most of us know. How does creativity fit into that story? Like where, as a as an athlete, where has creativity kind of played a role, and how do you define creativity? Um, well, yeah, well, I think a lot of people that you know, again, like you said, just know you as an athlete. Um, they don't know the backstory of my. Uh, I have a degree in uh, industrial design. Some. So before I was a professional athlete, I was a professional student in Chicago uh, at the uh, University of Illinois Chicago's design program. So I finished my school, I have a degree in product design, um, and it's amazing when you uh, when you're th- when you're when you're 23 years old and you're supposed to go uh, use your degree, and then I packed a backpack and moved to England to be a soccer player. So you know, again, my mom was very proud when I told her I spent all this money to not right. use the degree. And I'm going to hey, go back. back hey, mom, I'm going to England with no invitation. No team is ready to hire me, and I'm going to go play professional soccer. Exactly. Now, that was the first step in creativity. Sure. <laughs> so, you know, I'm looking forward to telling my story. You know, like I, I try to um, not only so, say and show how I use, use creativity to define my path as an athlete, yeah. but also just giving them the mindset, you know, to right. evolve, to uh, to continue to work on your game as a player, all that kind of stuff. Uh uh, it, it, it is, is a creativity being and a, and a creativity driver. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to kind of building those bridges and uh, and, and being in those environments because that's truly where I like to be. You, you you said game. Game is this month's global theme. And you've been in a lot of games. And game can be defined all kinds of different ways, right? So any any anecdotes or any moments that you want to t- share with the audience as a teaser where creativity and game collided for you? Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it was mainly when I, uh, when I first landed, uh, in, or I wouldn't say first, it was, I was a year into my apprenticeship, so to speak, playing in the 12th division. Um, and in that time, um, as a, as a 23 year old American, I had to be very uh, creative in my process to be noticed, <laughs> right. uh, creative in my process to ask questions, um, and work on my game when no one else was looking. So when the actual platform came for my opportunity sure. to accept, I was I was ready. And creativity allowed me to work out by myself to create my own uh, improvement packages. So when I got this opportunity, again, I would I had played, um, you know, for 60 pounds a game. I'd get cash in an envelope for 60 wow. pounds a game. Um, and I knew that I would only get one chance as a 23 year old American that no one ever heard of. And uh, I got I got called into uh, uh, play in a preseason friendly against a first division team called Watford. And uh, sure enough, all of those uh, kind of creative pieces fit, and I was ready to rumble. And uh, from there, I got, I got my first, uh, after sleeping on a floor and in an attic for a year uh, and making 60 pounds a game, I got, uh, uh, I got my opportunity and, 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 and it started my journey as a professional. So in, in the real game of soccer. But it took creativity, uh, you know, to navigate that path. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, and, to, and to make sure that opportunities are presenting themselves. And so that's kind of what my plan is. I'm just I'm looking forward to sharing some stories about how a, a great sporting event like the World Cup can can uh, can, can match the creative creativity it takes to get there. So, well, you know, that's you know, kind of uh, what we're looking forward to doing. The cool, the, the really cool or a, a really cool thing about about you as an individual and a, and, a, and a creative Vancouverite that I respect is that that one story, that part of your career actually now is that sort of the beginning of what has continued to be a really interesting creative life. So um, thanks again for, for joining us. Uh, for everybody who's watching, Jay will be on stage uh, at uh, by 8, well, 8.30 in the morning. We'll, we'll serve breakfast on Friday, April 6th, uh, as usual at SFU Woodbirds. And uh, the one and only Jay Demerit. <laughs> I'll, get the, I'll get the office right this time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> thanks, my friend. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. We'll see you soon, guys. All right. Cheers.